Um, words I would use to describe Lori, she's always cheerful, always happy, always has a smile on her face. Her brilliance. So incredibly dedicated. Very person-centered. We need more people like Lori. We need more staff members like Lori. Lori is a leader in the area she works in. She's a service facilitator. Um, the other staff come to her with questions. She's been our longest standing staff in that program at this point. So her opinions, her knowledge is invaluable to all of us. She's teaching them, you know, to have the courage to communicate. She's teaching them new words. She's teaching him kinds of fun things that allows Mikey to have a better life when he's with us and, and for himself and gain that confidence. And I cannot think of anybody that I've ever interacted with from preschool through all of Michael's schooling to phase to this that's more deserving of this incredible award. Lori stands out and she stands out because she's taken self-advocacy to a new level. We've, it's always been important to LifeWorks. Self-advocacy means speaking up for yourself. So that they're heard and their wants and needs um, are acknowledged, and that's what Lori does for the people she works with. Well, I started in May four years ago, and I didn't know anything about anything with self-advocacy. It was a whole new concept to me. Um, when she decided to do self-advocacy, she started meeting with other um, organizations and kind of picking their brain on what they do. What's different about Lori is that she'll um, take that idea and she runs with it. Now they go to the Capitol during the legislative session. She goes every single week, no fail. So many of our folks don't have a voice, um, literally and figuratively. And getting your voice heard in the community, talking to lawmakers and letting them know what funding you need. She sets up meetings with um, our individual's representatives and allows them to meet one-on-one -on -one with them. So for people to come and talk directly to their representatives from where they live is a very different level of impact. She makes sure that there's transportation to and from and it's accessible. How I actually really got involved with her is I rode up the elevators with half of her group and she rode up with the other half of her group because she can't ride an elevator with eight people. <laughs> I was really surprised to see a singular person bringing a fairly substantial sized group with all kinds of difficulties to get there to the Capitol, let alone showing up every week. Uh, these individuals engage very enthusiastically in our process of constructing commentary that goes to their legislators. Their passion for it is what keeps me going with it and they just, they love doing it and so that makes me love doing it even more. We do big posters, we take their pictures, we write thank you letters, and we, we take them individually to each of the legislators' offices, they meet with them, and th this is no small project for an average person to just make their way to the Capitol, let alone somebody with a disability, let alone an entire group of people with disabilities who are shepherded by one individual. Lori. Four, two, uh, two, four, five. We basically start out with relationship building and work through Lori Four. to get our ideas heard. And now they have friendships with legislators and um, they work together to write up letters with their legislator. Um, Eric's representative reached out to me and asked if she could share Eric's story on the House floor during the House session as they were trying to get more funding for for services mm -hmm. and so Eric and I and his mom we, we wrote to a story so Eric and I were actually able to go down to the Capitol during the house session and sit up in the balcony he got to hear his representative share his story on the house floor and it was a pretty awesome day and it was really special and meaningful to Eric also so it was great to be able to be a part of that. So they've created these relationships um, which also has fostered a lot of um, confidence and a lot of change that happens. And these issues are coming arise because of her bringing the group down. These guys know their story and they tell it the best. And it, I think it's more meaningful when it comes, when they're speaking on their own behalf. I would say five years ago, people had no idea who these people were. All the legislators don't. Who? 
this group is and who Lori is. Got it. Very nice. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank it's you so fun. Come again. She is so consistently excellent at her job, bringing people to the Capitol and taking them to advocate to their legislators. All of her work in self-advocacy, it's so important to the people that she works with. They've been somewhat invisible most of their lives. And that they are heard, they are respected, they are important, they're important to all of us. And that's the best part of it. We're so grateful from all of our family and from us, and especially from Mikey. Thank you for doing what you do so incredibly well. That rocks! Lori rocks! Congratulations, Lori, on your Staff Excellence Award. No one deserves it more than you.